here at Home Depot. We're trying to find a box because it's this girl's birthday. And we're going to make a Barbie box. It's a Barbie theme party. So there are a lot of boxes to choose from, but I really do like this one. This one's a tall wardrobe box. And I'm gonna go with this one. take two of these because I think that in case I need an extra piece because I want it to be tall enough so let's do two of these um we do also need some tape so I think I'm just gonna grab this box lock shipping tape hopefully it's strong enough because that's all I'm gonna buy here at Home Depot we're gonna head over to Party City and see if we can find some wrapping paper to make sure that we wrap the box and make it look like an actual Barbie doll box so now I'm at Party City and I'm grabbing the wrapping paper. I do want it to be this color. So I'm back home and I'm going to start working on the project. Those are the boxes right there and I'm whispering because it's super late and everybody's asleep. show you guys really quick this is a 44 inches tall and it's the tall wardrobe box from home depot and then to do the tape that i'm using is just this tape okay guys so this is how the box looks let me show you guys it when i when i pick up these flaps it's almost as tall as me but we're gonna cut those off and on one side of the box it comes all the way down like this so i think this is going to be the piece where i'm going to leave the opening i'm going to take this off because these don't bend forward so i don't know exactly why but this piece bends over so i think it's going to be easier to just get rid of this piece for the front of the box and then this right here i'm going to rip because we're going to stack two of the boxes so let me show you guys really quick what i mean After wrestling with the box for a while, um, I stuck one box inside the other to make it the length that I want it. And I think it'll help make it more sturdy. So I'll just tape this down. Tape this down. And I'll close it up here. This is going to be the front of my box. And this is going to be the back of my box. Now that I figured out the height, I'm just going to tape it all around to, to secure it. So now 
now the box is ready. Now I just need to decide which one is going to be my front side and which one's going to be the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that out and then we're going to go ahead and wrap it. Okay guys, I decided this is going to be the back. So I'm going to cut it open so we can have an entryway into the vault. So I'm going to wear this on top of my dress tomorrow and it comes with this super cute pin too. So I pin it, but I'm scared to sleep with the pin, so I'm just going to sleep on it like this. It's cute. 21, guys. Cute. Oh, wow. Ow. Is that the 21? That girl looks like she might be 21. And there you go I think I did a good job and we're gonna wrap it up meaning I'm gonna call it a night and then tomorrow we're literally going to wrap it up in wrapping paper and I'll show you guys how to make it look exactly like a doll box good morning guys so it's the next morning because I literally fell asleep super late I woke up got the kids ready for school and now I'm back to my project I have my wrapping paper right here. We're gonna use this color and um, I'm gonna try to wrap the box as best as I can and make it look as neat as I can, but I am in a hurry. Hopefully it comes out good.
it looks. Um, it's all wrapped up now. And of course, this is gonna close. So that's how the box looks right now. And all I need to do is put the Barbie sign on the bottom and voila. And I'm also gonna add some fringe right here in the back of it because I'm, if you guys notice, a lot of the Barbie dolls, they do have like a back to it, like a little theme sometimes, but I'm just gonna put like fringe so it could look cuter. And then the Barbie sign at the bottom and that's pretty much it. I got myself a whole Barbie box. I'm so excited because I think it looks super cute. I think it's going to be a nice prop for the party. And I think everyone's going to enjoy taking a picture in it. So, yeah, guys. Super cute. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to put a plastic over the front of the box because I want it to look even more realistic. So I found this. These are plastics that came um, for this poster board. And hopefully I can get this off without ripping it or else I'm just going to have to use a piece. But I got these posters for yard sale signs that I made. But now I'm thinking that I can use this plastic to put it right here and make this box look even more realistic. So yeah, let's see. So I put the plastic and this is how it looks. And now I'm going to put the white Barbie sign down there. The same poster board that I took out of that plastic is the one I'm gonna use to draw the Barbie sign. <music> comments down below and stay tuned for more videos i'll see you guys next time adios amigos